Today we're going to be diving at Science World. It's a pretty iconic building. Uh, most people in Vancouver know this one, but no one ever swims here. The water is generally really gross. Um, so in the summertime, you're going to want to stay way away from this area. But in the wintertime, all the bacteria count goes down. So it's a little bit more safe. I wouldn't recommend most people doing this. And we also get permission from the city to be here. So big thanks to Vancouver for having some city workers come out and haul away the trash. Last year we got about 800 pounds. So hopefully we'll get more this year and find all sorts of exciting stuff in the water. And then for this dive, it was pretty awesome. I got a grant from Oceanwise. Uh, get some gear for the volunteers. So that's gloves and socks because that is the stuff that we use the most in the water. All the sharp metal cuts your gloves up and they're actually pretty expensive to replace. So we got a new set for everyone here, which is awesome. And then our normal sponsors, Diving Sports and Pacific Pilsner helped me out. So big thanks to all those guys. Even on this very first drop, you can just see how much trash there is. Shopping carts, various pipes, wires, like so many different things. Normally the first couple drop downs are just to kind of survey the area and see what kind of large items we're gonna pull out. But I couldn't resist when I seen this guitar amp. I had to grab it. This is Alex. <laughs> we gotta find a guitar now. It's the, like it's the craziest shit here. <laughs> this spot never disappoints for the amount of wild stuff that's here. And on my second drop, I found an iPhone. I believe this is my first iPhone of the year, and I hope to find many more. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My first phone. Oh yeah, well, first phone of the day. Huh? So I'm personally a bit naive when it comes to a lot of religions around the world. From what I understand, this is a Hindu religious artifact of some sort, a little statue. And I would kind of like to know more. So if anyone in the comments knows why people find these in the water kind of semi-regularly, let me know. Um, in my perspective here, I kind of wish people wouldn't throw them in the water. Uh, I'm sure there's other ways you can practice still without uh, essentially littering here. Hold it up here. <laughs> Your camera is angled way down. <laughs> when I seen this, I got instantly excited. However, as soon as I went to lift it up, I realized if I'm able to lift this up without a lot of effort in the water, there's probably not a lot in it. <laughs> Got a toolbox. I think it's empty though. You want some pot? There's a phone where I picked this up too, I think. Can I get one of you guys to give me a hand real quick here? It might just be full of water, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Anything good in there? Or is it empty? Ah! Lame. Every year, right here we find lots of cell phones. <laughs> she knows. Yeah? Interesting, okay. Yeah, Henry was saying there hasn't really been as much wind. Yeah, so I don't remember that far away, but maybe some down there that just haven't been traveling. Okay. Another team. Or... <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Didn't expect a computer monitor. You get mad at your computer? <laughs> when I find stuff that's out of place, like a computer or TV monitor, I'm really not exactly sure because of the size of that one, what it is. It just really makes me wonder why. Was this something stolen that somebody was just trying to get rid of? Uh, was a girlfriend mad at her boyfriend for playing too many video games? Or was this maybe an angry employee that just had it and threw it in the water? Always so many questions and never any answers. You want to help me grab this mat? Oh. It's just really long. So these get blown off for the winter time. Thank you. In the past, they've had the police boat coming over here, so they kind of like just hang out, which is kind of cool. I like message them, ask for like a ride log on the, that boat, because that'd be pretty sick. One thing I've learned in my years of trash cleanup times always check the pockets. You just never know. I found a hundred dollar bill in a pair of pants once, and since then, I check every pocket of every piece of clothing I find. Oh, interesting. Sometimes I get curious about who watches how far into the video. Rather than throwing some music over here, I thought I'd put a little Easter egg in here. If you actually watch me haul this bike, put the number four in the comments. I want to see who actually watches these videos in the entirety. But be sneaky about it. Like, break it into a sentence. Have some fun with it. I might try and do some sort of prize giveaway for the person with the funniest sentence. That was really heavy. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> I can't hold up any higher there or not. <laughs> I 
could try for it. Yeah. Do we need do we need a line to attach to it to pull it out? I, I don't know if we could, man. There's already a line on it. Oh yeah, we could just come back to it. You have your lift bag with you? Yeah, I do. If you could inflate it all the way, we, we might be able to just pop it off the ground. Just get it out of the suction. Okay. It's not too much and I could jiggle it. Okay. Do you have an extra carabiner for chance? Uh drive from that rope. Could you guys pass me a carabiner off one of the ropes? Carabiner? Yes. <clears throat> I'll try and get the little boat out of here. It's a small little boat. <clears throat> So I'll try to attach to my lift bag, Let's see how it goes. I don't know if the lift bag will pop it off the bottom. Once that's on, we'll go to the bottom and just try to lift. Okay. And it just needs to pop the suction. Because that thing is not light, it's not, it's not heavy in the water. Okay. Yeah. So it's just right down here? Yeah, you should be able to see it. Get a boat out. <laughs> Do you have another uh, rope? I don't know. This might be tricky, but. <sighs> we can get it. Yeah, at the bottom, I lifted it up. Okay, sweet. It's just getting it onto the dock. We'll probably have to flip it outside down to get the water out. And then, uh, but also this way. This is gonna be some heave ho and Do you need any help though? Uh big probably just pull it and be the best. It's gonna be hard to get it, like, we can get it that way, just getting it up is gonna be really hard. It'll be really slow because it's uh, has so much surface area. Straight up and down. So we might have to flip it upside down because it's going to fill with water. So if you guys want to drop it, we'll just spin it. 
So not a bad haul overall here. Another TV. I got a toolbox, but unfortunately it was empty. I don't think that was in it. Or maybe it was. What is this? Was that actually in it? This is a printer. I think, maybe. I'm not sure what this is. Yeah. Um, uh, nice. <laughs> Some batteries and uh, got a pretty good collection of phones. Oh, I got the shiny one here. <laughs> so he was saying a little while ago he lost his phone, but I lost my phone about five months ago. All of these phones are pretty toast. Yeah, I just wanted my chip. Yeah, that's all I wanted. What kind of phone was yours? I can't remember. I cannot remember what it was. I've been through seven phones since I've been uh, on the boat. Yeah, this one, uh, I don't think yeah, anything's wagon. recoverable here. The wagon was blind. Yeah? How, so how'd you lose the wagon? wagon? I, had it, I had it on the back of my um, kicker. Yeah? On the back of my transom. I shouldn't have had it there. It ended up falling in. Ah. And I couldn't grab it. So I think the most interesting find is this guitar amplifier. Oh my god. That's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. <laughs> they they float? Yeah, you think so, eh? And then uh, we managed to get the boat out of the water too. That was a chore. <laughs> I, I literally said, "There's no way this thing's coming out." <laughs> he's, he's told me that before. We have we have our ways. <laughs> So Alex tied the lift back to the front of it. I dropped to the bottom and like deadlifted it off just to get it off the suction. And then I took the rope and gave it to these guys and uh, the city workers just pulled it all the way from the uh, out where it was out in the water. So that was a I, big I team effort. Said, I, I literally said you need a crane for this. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. So I just popped the sim out. I might be able to try and return this one. Uh, maybe. I will see. Maybe. It looks pretty tarnished there. But yeah. And we finished off a lunch with the volunteers to help celebrate 774 pounds of trash before going home and checking out that phone. We got another iPhone. We just pulled this one out of the water at Science World, and it looks in half decent condition, but I think there's a lot of water that had got under the screen. As you can see here, it's a little bit swollen. But you guys know the drill. I'm just going to pop the SIM card out. And it's in pretty good condition. So we're going to pop this into my cell phone and we're going to see if we get the phone number off of it. So as of editing this video, I still haven't heard back from the owner. Uh, I'll send them another text message in a day or so, but sometimes you just never hear back. Uh, they get a different phone number. You never know. There could be a slew of different reasons why that phone was in the water as well. Maybe they just don't want it back. 
So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And a big thanks to all the volunteers, including the city workers that came out to help with this cleanup. You guys, much appreciated. So take care, guys. There. And finishing off with a nice meal with a bunch of buddies.